What is that? What is that? Well, hi, this is Custom Works, and I am Clint Allen. This sensor video is going to cover the ambient air temperature sensor. Uh, not to be confused with this, which this is for the 1994 through 1996 7.3. Not to be confused with this, and not to be confused with this one either. We're talking about that sensor right there. Possible PO code is PO073. How do you know if you have one in your Power Stroke 7.3? It's real easy. If you have a model that has a display for temperature or the smart air conditioning, uh, dual zone or single zone smart air conditioning where it has the digital output for the temperature you have this sensor and you normally what happens is is that it, it just basically stops reading it just hits one number which is usually 40 not all the time but usually 40 and it doesn't move from there and or the air conditioning system uh, does not properly function but some more information on the specifics here i'll let wrench handle the specifics so today i'm talking about a p0073 code what it is and how you go about fixing it and so what is a p0073 code well it's an ambient air temperature sensor circuit high input and what does this mean? Well, there's a temperature sensor that's usually located up inside of the front grill, and it's basically just reporting back to the computer what the outside temperature is. And this sensor is what's called a thermistor, which basically is just a resistor whose resistance changes with the temperature. And one thing about this sensor is it needs to be shielded from direct sunlight or strong winds or anything like that. So be sure to keep that in mind, especially if it got loose or anything like that. It needs to be kind of shielded, and it's usually gonna be located up inside the front grill. Quite often you have to take apart the top of the grill to get to it. Sometimes you can get up on underneath and get to it. It's gonna vary, it's gonna depend on the vehicle, but it'll be up inside there somewhere. And so what are some possible causes of a P0073 code? Well, it could be a bad ambient air temperature sensor. That sensor might have just failed, it just need to be replaced. It can also be inside the wiring. There could be an open or a short or something like that. You have to get the wiring diagram for your specific vehicle to know which pins it would be on on the computer. But basically, there's an open or a short inside of the, one of those wires going back to the computer, then it's going to cause an issue. And many people, when they get this code, they just automatically swap out that ambient air temperature sensor. And then if that doesn't work, they start checking the wiring. But you can't test that sensor if you want to. To test that sensor, basically, you use a multimeter and you test it for resistance. Each sensor is going to have its own resistance specifications, which you can look up and try to get and then match to see if it's correct. But if you can't get the resistance specifications, basically test it for resistance and it shouldn't be open. It should be reading something. If it's not and it's open, then you know it's bad. You can also try to add heat to it with like a hot hair dryer or something like that and just see if the resistance changes. And quite often, if the resistance does change, then it means that sensor is good. But like I said, to know for sure, you would need to get the specifications for it. But you can't test that ambient air temperature sensor if you want to. And so that's basically it. All right. And thank you, Wrench. <laughs> let's go to the uh, studio shop and let's go test this thing we'll show you how to give it a quick test so what you're going to need here is a multimeter you're going to need to remove that sensor from its place and that place is normally going to be off to the right hand side so facing the vehicle off to the right hand side or if you're in the vehicle proper mechanic would be left hand side but either way there's just the pictures right there and sometimes uh, on the excursion models they put them behind the bumper but the highest percentage of time 90% of the time they are going to be behind the grill 
like is seen in the picture right here. So with her multimeter, uh, we're just gonna set up the multimeter into the ohm, put it on the 200 value, and we're just gonna hook it up. Now, the best way to test this, and here's the chart, is basically take a hair dryer, uh, don't take a flame to it, or a heat gun, and as you can see right here, just simply by adding heat, it's going to keep on changing its value based on that percentage from the chart. And it's as simple as that. Once the heat is off of it, then it's just slowly going to come back down again. And you know yours is working and you would have an issue in the wiring and or actually into the air conditioner uh, computer module and or the display unit itself is having an issue, something in the circuitry. So of course this is gonna get added to our sensor playlist. So if you're new here, down in the description, I have all the playlists, all the sensors that are in a 7.3, find out what they do, where they are, can they be tested, our full injector series, uh, playlist you have never seen anything like that before so start on the first one and work your way through and learn everything that there is to know about injectors we've got our hands on we've got our tech talks we've got our controversial videos as well uh, if you're looking for a sensor uh, set a snap of a clicking of a mouse down in the description also is going to be three of them to choose from uh, sometimes these links do go dead, so you know, throw out a comment if that's the case. But right now, there's three different ones to choose from. Any one of them is just fine. As far as different years, as far as wire diagrams to go, uh, Google Image. So put in your year of your vehicle, the uh, you know F250, F350 excursion stuff like that. Ask for a wiring diagram in in Google for that sensor right there and the highest percentage of time it's going to give you in the images that wiring diagram the colors everything like that making it real easy for you to run down a wire issue uh, i would probably say the the biggest issues that i see with these number one the sensor just goes bad number two the plug just needs to be cleaned or number three the computer component itself <laughs> just died and it's usually a solder joint um, and if you pull that unit out and get the old magnifying glass out you can actually find that cracked connection or that cracked resistor chip and then you just reheat it up again with the solder gun and that usually does the trick but there are rebuild companies out there, the, the same companies that rebuild odometers, stuff like that. You can just send them to them. Once again, Google, there are hundreds of these companies that do it. You can send it out to them. They'll rebuild the whole thing. It's usually 60, 70 bucks, including shipping. Uh, they're pretty quick about it. Usually within a, if you send it out early in the week, actually you can have it back by the end of the week, Monday, Tuesday, the following. It's not, you know, something that's crucial that you have, you know, in your vehicle, not like the odometer uh, cluster itself. But I hope you've learned something and you take it easy and you have a good day. Hey, how you doing? Good. Got your rig loaded down? Yeah. Yeah, I got uh, produce, supplies, uh, heavy marine equipment. Yeah, we're loaded down all right. Good. Stay strong out there, man. Yeah, I will. So, who are you talking to in there? Oh, uh, another trucker. The surprisingly accommodating Ford F-150 Super Crew. If you haven't looked at Ford lately, look again.